this lesson, we'll be going over um, creating a library, editing and altering a library, and the overall gener general purpose of designing a library. In order to access libraries, we would go to the toolbox or control plus the letter T on your keyboard. A Genesis provided function, criteria, scan, rules, strategies. We want to go to the very last tab, which is libraries. The library tab simply, simply gives you a listing, sort of like an index, of all the libraries that are in your trade navigator. Many of the functions included in these libraries are proprietary and the code is not released. If you wanted to know, say, what is in the Bollinger Band Toolkit, you would go to your functions, sort by library, and here you will get a listing of all the functions, whether they be indicators, highlight bars, they would all be listed here under the category for the library name. And all I did was hit sort by library up here at the top. It gives you a listing of all the functions included in that library. So if we go back to the library tab, you'll see that this is simply just a list of all of the libraries installed in this trade navigator. You may only edit libraries that you have created yourself or that are unlocked. This library here is full permissions. You can view the, the uh, library items included in this, which is a function and a strategy, and any charts or templates associated with it. Now the benefit of designing your own Trade Navigator libraries would be that you will then have the ability to share these libraries with other Trade Navigator users. You may um, email them to other people, uh, share any of your trading methods and ideas back and forth. So let's go ahead and build a new library. From there you'll give your library a name. You can enter the version and a short description. Hit the next button. You would enter the name. You can enter the phone number, email address. If you have a website that you're promoting and you're using Trade Navigator and designing libraries for students or any associates, you can enter a website here. And you can also attach a text file or Word document uh, in order to uh, give information about your library. You go ahead and hit the next button. This allows you to set controls on who can view the code and if it can be accessed. If you have some very um, complex indicators that you wish not to share the coding, the Trade Navigator TradeSense code with others, you would do restricted. Restricted requires that anyone viewing the code enter a password. You can provide this password to other people or you can keep it solely to yourself. If you select full permissions, anyone that has access to the library will be able to look at and view all of the traits and code associated with any of the functions. You go ahead and hit the next button. This allows you to move anything custom that you have designed within your trade navigator. Anything that you did not design is not going to be an option here on the items to include in your library. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the ZB function, add it to the library. Now we have this function. We can add additional options by hitting the Add button and add other TradeSense options and hit OK. If we hit the Uses button, then we are telling it to confirm that the library will have access to these other functions. You can simply select one, use the RSI, and hit OK. Now these will be the two specialty items included in this library. You can go ahead and hit OK and finish. This library has now been created and we can access it from the library tab. ZB method is now a library. You may export this library once it's exported, then it can be transferred and imported to any other Trade Navigator user. If you'd like to delete any of these libraries, you may simply by selecting the library and hitting delete. 
If you'd like information on any of the libraries, you can click there. That would be all the information that you would have typed in on your own custom library. And to exit, we will want to close. If you'd like any other further assistance on designing your own custom library or any of the limitations, you can call tech support or set up a one-on-one -on -one coaching lesson.